Hello Northwood fans, welcome to a preview of the 2012 Timberwolves. I'm Travis McCurdy, joined now by head coach Mike Sullivan. Coach Sullivan, you've had a few days out of practice. How have you uh, seen, how's the team look so far? Hey Travis, everything is looking uh, great so far. We're very excited, you know, we're flying around and you know, we're focusing on tempo uh, and all facets of the game and, and uh, you know, starting fast and playing fast and, and I'm excited on how the guys responded. I don't know if I've ever seen a roster with more guys back, which must be really exciting to you because I think, as far as I can count, maybe five letter winners lost from last year. So you've got a lot of guys with a lot of experience. Yeah, absolutely. We've got every position back except, uh, we, you know, we had two wide receivers that were playing for us and, and one defensive lineman that was, that was subbing in there and getting some reps. So we've got everybody back. And so that's a great nucleus to build on for this season. And, and, and we're riding that and very excited about that. We still have to come out and perform in, in, with those veterans. Let's talk a little bit about the offense first. You got Aaron Shavers, you got Cameron Jackson. Those are really two guys that can really make a lot of plays for you. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, they've done a great job in the triple option over the years and, and the Woodbone and stuff that we've done here. And so we're, you know, we're very excited to have, uh, you know, Aaron back and have Cam back. And, you know, Jordan Yonkers, a wing back, has done a great job for us too. And, and our receivers are used to blocking for the triple. So, you know, we're, we're excited to have those guys back and making contributions in the offense. And they're looking, you know, they're looking great, and I'm just keeping them healthy, so. Exactly, the most important thing in camp. How about that offensive line? A lot of guys back there as well. Yeah, there's a lot of guys back on our offensive line. You know, we've, you know, we've got Matt Broom and Sean Grisson and Amir Towns, and, and uh, you know, we've got five of the offensive linemen, Josh Augustine, Brent Ross, who saw playing time, Noel Pelto, who saw in playing time, and so, you know, we've got some guys that's coming out and, and, and being involved in, in our offense and offensive line, and coming off the ball up front and you know we're working on the fundamentals and technique with that. Now you did mention wide receiver that's one spot where you got to fill some guys and Eric Williams was a key player last year but then there's going to be a lot of guys with not much experience out there. Yeah there is and you know Devontae Elsey a young man out of Chicago is doing a great job. Mark Lawrence a young man from Standish is, is coming in there and doing a great job for us. Austin Tackman is doing a nice job and so we've got a good core in there. Jack Dakins a senior and just you know, he'll just fight his rear end off the whole time, the whole game, and, and, and be involved. And he's a great special teams player for us, too, at, as a wide receiver. And so, you know, we're very excited about him and, and that whole core. And they're coming along. They're young. And that's a good thing, you know. And, and so, so we're very excited with our receiver core. Now let's switch over to defense. Again, a lot of guys back, especially the key to your defense over the years has been the linebackers. And you've got a couple of really special linebackers coming back this season. Yeah, we, we do. There's no question. But, with uh, Ryan Whittem and Spencer Retama and Darrell Ward out of Florida is a, is a great, uh, you know, Don Tavius Bryant and, and uh, Doug Van Alslander. And, you know, we're deep at the linebacker spot. There's, you know, there's no question. And, and so uh, we're very excited. We're, the entire defense, Travis, is, is flying around. It's a veteran defense and, and uh, it's very exciting to watch out here. Um, you know, and then we have our secondary you know, which is led by uh, Fabian Jackson back there and Joe Bitterman, uh, two seniors, uh, along with uh, Corinthian Gray, who's back with us. Uh, and uh, so, you know, we've, we, uh, Damian Horton, the Michael Tinker, those guys are all seniors. Ryan Spacuzzi, you know, Carlos Love, and, and we've got great depth in the secondary. Uh, you know, we've got the most, and then a defensive line, you want to go up front with uh, Justin Barnes and Jefferson Nelson and Kyle Feakey and, and Andrew Cox. and. And uh, you know, and we, we've got depth. You know, we've got we're three deep. And, you know, at every position right now on the defense, and that's something uh, that I know uh, since taking over as the head coach, I have not had. So I'm very excited to have that going into this season. Absolutely. Then you got special teams. Let's talk a little bit about those guys too. I mean, Tony Height had an unbelievable season, and he's poised for even bigger things this senior year. Yeah. You know, I I, I am so proud of. Uh, I'm proud of all our guys. We have 21 seniors, but you know, I've seen Tony Height. Uh, grow up here at Northwood University, uh, and he's making a tremendous. He, he's unbelievable on the field in his punt game, uh, you know. And he's got great. You know, we've got uh, you know Coach, the, the Arnolds, uh, EJ Arnold and Dave Arnold working with him, and and he's done a great job of, of coming along, and he's doing a great job academically as well. Uh, and then Alex Faust, you know, a young man that, that came in here, and, and he's from Midland Dow, and and uh, he, he, you know, he was our kicker last year, and. He's doing a great job again for us this year, and so we're excited uh, to have Alex uh, back with us as well, and, and Rudy Fazelli is just snapping for us and, and doing a nice job too with our specialty units. 
One last thing, we open up with the Circle of Health game on August 31st. I know that's a big deal. We're really trying to make that a big deal and talk about what that game means to you. For your program to play under the light, something we haven't had to do at a home game in a long time. Hey, what a tremendous atmosphere for the Midland community and the Tri-City community. A Friday night game, you know, high schools are playing on Thursday. We're playing a Friday night game uh, against Quincy University at Midland Stadium at 7 o'clock on the 31st and, and to come out and, and the proceeds for that game go to drug and alcohol education in Midland County and that's something that's very uh, near and dear to our educational process here uh, at Northwood University and in the Midland community and we want everybody to come out and support it. See a tremendous brand of football. I mean, you know, Division II and the GLIAC Conference is the best Division II football there is in the country and uh, there's not a lot of difference between the GLIAC and the MAC anymore. And, you know, as we all talk about, we've all got great players, but we want to get everybody out there, get a get a crowd, carnival atmosphere going on in there, and get that baby rocking to kick off our season. Well, Sullivan, thank you very much. Good luck this season. We'll